Did you know that the C-sharp compiler is not foolproof? You can actually write code that will compile, but will, won't run. And yeah, it's it's pretty nasty. So this is a struct with a circular dependency of itself. Now we can write some test code for this circular dependency and see what happens. So at this point, it's going to get in trouble, right? So we've got some code here that is not going to run, we don't think. Um, we can actually run the app and see what happens. Now the compiler should tell you that I can't compile the app, but no, it's, it's tr actually trying to run it, yeah? And we've got this system type load exception, could not load the generic struct from the assembly. Now, how would you fix this struct so you can actually access this default int without crashing the entire .NET runtime? Well, <laughs> well, you'd have to do something like this, public static, it's all class defaults like this. Do a nested class, whack that in there. And then you can do something like console.write line and do something crazy wild. Value is plus um, generic structs string dot defaults dot default int. You can't see that because it's underneath me. Default int dot value like that. Run the app and you should see the struct has actually been created and we got past the circular reference of generics. I hope that you've never run into that little gotcha. That's not very nice at all, is it?